Today we are going to be installing a backup camera for this 2007 Dodge Caravan. I originally wasn't going to make a video on this because I already have my stereo installed. It's been installed for a while and I know there will be a lot of questions about how to install the stereo. So if you're not looking for a stereo install and you want just a backup rear camera install, this video is for you. If you're looking for a stereo install doubled in, this video is not for you. So on the back side of my stereo, this is what it looks like. Everybody has different stereo setups, uh, but this is what mine looks like. They are pretty much, however, generally the same, just slight differences. You got antenna for your um, your main antenna for your radio, you got speaker setups, you got amp setups, and then you have in your yellow there, you have rear video camera. So we are going to hook up an RCA jack right there, that top one, and that says rear camera. That's on this stereo. Again, everybody else's is different depending on what you have. This is just a cheap uh, Chinese stereo, but it works very well, has all the bells and whistles, it's just cheaper. Um, you also have a front camera right there and rear. If you go to try your camera, I'll just say this now, I've seen this with a lot of the installs I've done before. If you go to install your rear camera right there and it does not work, try your front camera and sometimes you have to play around with the settings on the front and you can get a picture that way when you go to put it in reverse. The whole idea is when you put your car into reverse, your backup camera should come on and you should be able to see it on your monitor. Whatever monitor you have, whether it's a rear view mirror camera or a LCD screen or a stereo, whatever you have, it should come up when you put it into reverse. Um, so I have seen that. So yeah, I'm just telling you right now if that if this doesn't work for you putting it on your rear Try your front camera, see if that works. It sometimes does. But uh, we'll move on with it. So we are going to hook our little RCA cable there and um, run it through the back there. And it will come out right there by where the gas pedal is. So the, this type is the kind that goes on the back side of your license plate. Basically, it comes with a camera. This was a Chi2 brand, whatever that is. I got it off of eBay. It's a cheap brand, but it should work fine. Had decent reviews at the time. I don't know about now, but it has an RCA jack, a yellow one that's for, for our uh, video. Then it connects there, and then you have a red and a black wire that, that's right there, if you can see it. So that's all there is to the camera itself. Then you have a big spool of RCA cable. Again, this is for the video output. So this is something else you need. I just have these in a bag, but they come in a little package. These are wire splicers, so you don't need to cut the wire. You just simply place your wire in it next to the wire that you're meaning to get power from, and then just tuck it over. I'll show you how to do that when we get to that point, but you'll need these. Okay, so here's our yellow wire, RCA wire, that's attached to the back of our stereo system. And it is just coming out right there. I'm going to wire tie it to the speedometer cable right here. And this wire is running on the outside of this framework of the emergency brake. reason why it's on the outside is because when this emergency brake is compressed, it could has a potential to pinch the wire if so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tighten this wire tie near the bottom of that bracket and if i tighten it it won't even hit it so i mean my emergency brakes push down all the way and it, it's not hitting it so plenty of clearance there this this uh little panel right here all it does is pop out here you can have it and you can pull it out the cable is tucked here behind the carpet and I have it running down under the carpet 
until it gets down here to the bottom of the panel. So I'll snap that back into place and it's right here. So I'm going to make sure that it runs here and then there's going to be a little channel under this floorboard and that's what we're going to remove next. Okay, so for this first floorboard, in the front here on our driver's side, we're just going to simply uh, take a screwdriver and gently pry it in between and underneath this floorboard right there. Once you get it started, it's easy. It just unsnaps. And that's how the other one's going to be on our sliding door, and that's what it looks like. And so we're just going to run that wire through here. That's what we're going to do. Run it through there. And we're going to go under this piece here and under it. And with this piece, all you're going to have to do is simply pry it up a little bit. And you'll be able to slide that wire up and under this until we get to the other side of our door right there. And then we're going to go underneath that panel. Okay, so we now have our wire in all, all along our channel here. Pull it up, and you're just going to snap it back down. Now it's going to come out to this other side around this door frame. You're going to lift up. We're going to run it right through this channel. Okay, so I now have that wire in right here um, just you're trying to just keep it out of these slots here that's where your the bottom of your panel is the metal slots so kind of same thing as the other one you're just sliding it under and then we're just gonna snap it into place also I do have it already started under here the wires you can see it's in the back there you gotta get that sock or whatever Looks like a stuffed animal. Anyway, um, so I'm just I'm just gonna keep tucking it as I go along. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue to go around. This has a bulge to it, if you will, where the tire is. So I'm just gonna continue to run it around until I get to the back of the caravan. This is right after our seat belt. There's our uh, sliding door panel. Here's our seat belt. I have the wire up to this point. I'm just going to kind of push that back there. It's sliding under there pretty easy. Um, there's a little channel. Wait, let's get this thing out of here. Whatever the hell that is. Oh, yeah. See, so you can see it just tucks right under there. Just like that. Um, so I'm going to continue to do that until I get to the back. All right, so you have to have blankets in the back to do this. Just kidding, they were just back here. We went to a baseball game late last night, so that's why those are here. Um, so we're at the point where I got the wire all tucked under here. Again, that was really easy to draw it under that panel there. First things first, we're going to remove this gasket around this. So that simply detaches right here. And that's all it does, it just kind of slides in there just like so so we're just gonna peel this off and around to about there because as you can see that's all we need to get to and there's a separation right here in the in the pillar we may have to get there but I think we'll be good okay so I just applied a little firm pressure to pop this up a little bit and now we're going to take this wire slide it under here like so just like that push it all the way under it's a lot harder to do with one hand let me tell you okay so now it's under there so we'll just get that back into place that's all there is to it okay so the wire will run up this column right here behind the panel and then it will run up here and it will actually run through here and into this panel along down here eventually to the other side of the license plate so next thing we're going to do is just 
pull this down, you can actually do it. Fingers, pretty easy. We're just gonna pop it out. There you see a, another wire harness right there. Or excuse me, not a wire harness, but you see some wires all wrapped up. And we're gonna pull this and lift this up. But before that, what we need to do is we need to pull this panel away. And so I already did that, just so you can see it. Um, they're just held on by these little tabs here. Some of them stay in. And all you do is just take a either a screwdriver or a pair of pliers, pull it out, and then you're just going to place it into here, just like that one. So here's what the camera will look like when it's mounted. I just have it loosely on there. Um, so remember, this is going to go inside. So yes, we are going to have to drill a hole. We'll get to that in a little bit. But uh, the wire is basically going to run along here along the inside of that panel and then remember it can't go right to the light because you have the hatchback to this van so it's going to have to go up this column it's going to go up here now here's my problem this wire is only about 36 inches long so i have to add on wire to this all right so i got about four and a half feet of wire right here one black one green i don't have a red wire so i'm going to use green as my positive black as my ground so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this four and a half feet and just wrap it up in duct tape so it's one single unit okay so we got it all duct tape is now all one unit so this should be enough of an extension to get us to our brake light so a reason for uh Doing this with this wire it will make it a lot easier to pull through this little sleeve here due to its design it can be tricky to fish through so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop in a wire into this hole and let it come out the other side and we're going to connect it to this wire and fish it through and get it through All right, so we are going to solder these wires together. Remember, green is going to go to red, and once it's soldered, we'll put the heat shrink over it, heat it up, and create a, a good seal around the wires just so it has a nice connection. So there is our positive wire. Now on to the other side. Let's do the negative. Okay, so now that our soldering is nice and here we have a, a good weld to it we're now going to heat shrink this tubing we will then be done with extending our wire out about four feet or so okay so there we go we now have an extension added that is complete so up next we need to pull this inner panel off of our hatchback we got some regular Phillips screws here to hold on this handle. All right, so the screws in the handle have been taken out. That will free up this bottom portion. Now we're, you're just gonna wanna take either a flat blade screwdriver or something to pry under here just very carefully. And you're gonna simply pull off these snaps. You wanna be careful. They're very loud when they disengage. But you're just gonna go along here very slow and you're just going to keep pulling these. Like I said, they're loud, but we're not damaging anything. All they are, this is what they look like. And they insert in those and they just come out nice and slow. So now we're just going to continue to remove this panel. Be careful, there is a harness here. So we're going to remove this harness that's holding a light bulb onto this panel. So you're just going to simply unplug that. And continue with the removal of the panel so the panel comes off in two sections here's the the top portion there's the bottom all right so with our panel off on both i'm going to run this little wire here through this boot so it goes down and i have it sitting right here so it's all the way through next thing i'll do is i'm going to take my rca cable here run it up along this edge all the way through and you're going to go up and under like so and you're going to tuck it up 
so the end of it comes through this hole right here. There's a little hole under here. You just put it up and under, and we're going to pull this. So it's tucked back like that, tucked back like that. Okay, so it's all in there. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to hook the end of the RCA cable to this wire, and we're going to pull it through right there. Okay, so we have it up and through the boot. We're going to keep pulling until we get out all the slack here. Okay, we now have our RCA jack pulled through the boot and is right here. We are now going to put a wire, a little thin wire, into this portion. So right from here, from the center, all the way over to here, just kind of fish it through the back. Okay, so here's our RCA cable. It's right here. I'm just going to continue to pull out all the slack. All right, so now we have RCA cable that goes from here. Runs up along here, down to there, you can see it, goes up through the hole, into the boot, through the back of our framework here, into the middle. It won't fit through uh, that little hole right there, so you have to use the middle one. Alright, so now that that's done, we are going to fish our other wire through here. We need a wire that's going to go from the back of our license plate all the way down through here. And it's actually going to run along here and then connect into our power source, which is our tail light. Okay, so now I put both wires inside here. So inside here, we have our RCA cable that went up through the floor, up here, connected to the boot. And we also have our power source wires where we are going to connect to our tail light here. And what we need to do is find a ground as well as the power source. So we are going to open up this tail light. So to gain access to this tail light, you have a little pop pin here. You simply take a screwdriver and slide it in between there. Or you can take a pair of pliers and pull it. It comes out pretty easy. There we go. So most tail lights, they will have just a positive wire and a ground wire leading to each light bulb. But in this case, it's a wire harness. So we need to find our ground and our positive wire. So on this harness, we have four wires. This can be a little confusing since a lot of them are green. But uh, we have a white, this would be considered a white wire with a light green stripe. This would be a considered a green wire with a black stripe, or it could be considered a black wire with a green stripe. They're almost equal. That's more than likely our ground. Then we have a white wire with a dark green stripe right here on our third wire. And our last wire is a white wire with what looks to be a black stripe. If you look on this harness, you're going to see a little red tab on the back. It is right there. I've already took the liberty of sliding it up. In this case, it would be pointing down, but you're going to slide it down. And once it's slid down, you can then release this harness. And right there are our pins. And we are going to use this harness to test for a reverse signal. To do that, I have this volt tester here, and what we need to do is we need to ground it. So as you can see, I have it grounded. I then will take this, and we're looking for a light. Um, but before we do that, I need to have somebody in the vehicle, start the vehicle, put it in reverse with the emergency brake on. This way it will give me a signal of the reverse light without the brake light. Okay, so the car is in reverse. The brake is not applied, however, the parking brake is. So, with that being said, we're going to test these lights. And there we go. That identifies our reverse light. So, the reverse light is 
this lime, this white wire with a lime green stripe. So right there, that's our positive wire. That's what we're going to connect into. Okay, so I also have tested our ground. Our ground is this black wire with the green stripe. Okay, so now that we've identified our power source, which is our positive wire, this white with light green stripe, and our ground, which is this black with dark green, or you could say dark green with black, we are now going to go into the vehicle and identify where this wire harness is located inside the vehicle. And there is our wires right there. The white with the lime green stripe, the white with the black stripe, the dark green with the black, and the white wire with the dark green. So these are all right here. So what we need to do is we need to tap into the white wire with the light green for our power, which is located right here. Okay, so because this is difficult to film inside such a tight area, I'm going to show you how this clamp works if you have never used one. The way it works is you're going to grab this, and this is what it looks like. You got your two holes here. You got a little metal piece that slides down when this is bent over and compressed like this. It will smash that metal piece into your wire. And then on this side, you have a hole that goes all the way through and a piece of plastic that will stop the wire. Okay, so if it's in the van and this is our power wire that's in the van that goes to our tail light and this will supply the power. This is gonna, we'll pretend like this is our white wire with the light green stripe. You're gonna simply slide this red piece over the wire just like so and you'll see how it comes out that end and that end. This is our wire that goes from the camera to uh, the end. This is gonna slide in like this then you're going to take a pair of pliers and you're going to squish that down really hard. Just like that. And so what that's going to do is that little metal piece that's in between there just slid into the wire. So now you are going to use the power from the wire and it's going to be put into this wire which was our camera wire. And then you just simply Close this little hasp down like that and lock it into position. So that's how, what it will look like inside the van. Okay, once again, I had showed you on my workbench how to set up the wires. So we got the green, this is our positive right here. Our green that is connected to our white with a lime green wire. That's connected there. And then we have our black wire right there, which is our ground that is connected to the black wire with the dark green stripe. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is wire tie our uh, cables here up to this other wire mess right there. We're just going to wire tie that along just to make it nice and pretty. All right, so as far as connections go, we're just gonna hook up our black wire here that connects to the power source and our ground. And then we're also gonna connect our yellow RCA jack that is connected to our stereo. So our uh, camera is essentially hooked up, so we're just gonna run a test on it. Then we are going to turn on the car, start it up, and put it into reverse and see if a image pops up on our little uh, stereo up there. Here we go, here is our camera. We're going to be looking at our stereo and see if it comes on, see if we get an image. So let's do the test. We're gonna turn the vehicle on. Our 
our vehicle is in park right now. So I'm going to uh, step on the brake. We're going to put it in reverse right now. And there we go. We have us an image. A swinging image because it's not mounted, but we have us an image. What we have left is just mounting it. To do that, we have to drill a hole into the back of our lift gate and run the wire through it. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so all we basically have left is mounting the camera. So this is where the camera is going to go. And as you can see, we've got two small holes here. That's not adequate for these to fit through. So we need to drill a hole in your van. I know, it's not very pleasing to think about it, but that's what we need to do to, to get this through here. So I'll show you what we can do and we'll waterproof it and we'll make it so no water goes into it. But we need to drill a rather large hole to get one of these, I mean both of them through, but one at a time through this uh, tailgate. So on the inside of the tailgate, we have this slot. And if you look up into there, you can see it. Right over there, you'll see one of those holes. So you can kind of get a reference of where we need to go. Basically straight up through there, that's going to make it so the hole is about, about right there or so. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside and drill upward to uh, make that hole. And we're gonna start that by using a small metal drill bit. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pop a small hole just to get a reference point. And then I'll show you how to make it bigger. So here is our small metal drill bit. That will go right through the, the aluminum on the tailgate, no problem. After we use this metal drill bit, we're gonna use this guy. He'll, uh, He'll make it so we can have a much larger hole so, so we can fit the RCA cables through them. I'll show you. So here's our RCA cable. And as you can see, we need a pretty large hole for that to fit through. I was looking through all of my little grommets here. There's um, various sizes, but the one that will fit the best will be this one. And this is a 7 8 Okay, so here we go. We're on the inside of the vehicle. We're going to be looking upward and we're going to try to drill it a little closer to the top of this already fabricated hole there. And we're going to drill through it. Make sure you're wearing safety glasses. You'd hate to get a metal sliver in your eye. All right, so let's begin. There we go. We got us a hole. As you can see, it's right in the center. That's right where we want it to be. And so now we're going to make that hole a little bigger so our grommet can fit in there. Okay, so here we go with making it a much larger hole. Okay, that should be adequate for this grommet. So what we're going to do now is throw a little lube on this in, inner ring of this grommet. And that will help us be able to press this into this to create a nice grommet seal. Okay, so now we have our rubber grommet in there. Looks good. I actually had to take it all the way to the very last one. It had to, it had to go a little bit larger just to get all these RCA jacks through and this uh, little box there. So we're just going to simply put these through. Now we got plenty of room. Another right. We're gonna push that through. All right. Now we're gonna fish it through the hole on the other side. All right. So this is where it's coming out. We have a bundle of. This is my RCA wire um, with our little yellow connector there. There was just a lot more than what I needed for this vehicle, so I just wound it up. Um, here is our red one. And we are going to wire tie wherever we can, just so this is nice and secure, just so it's not rattling around when we're driving. So the last couple of things we are going to do is apply silicone inside of this, make a nice tight seal right there so no water can get in. And then we will look at our monitor to 
adjust our little uh, camera here to make sure it's all set up properly. We'll also um, remove these bolts, put on our license plate, and then put this on the outside of our license plate. So now that we got that good to go, let's put everything back together. We'll start with this tail light here, put this on, put in our two push pins. We're now going to just press these back into place and um, get that all straightened. Then we're going to put on our weather stripping. Okay, weather stripping is now in place. Next thing we're going to do is put on our interior panels. We'll start with the top portion first. Make sure when you're putting on your panels you're not compressing on any of the wires that you just installed. Alright, so that's our top. Now we're going to put our bottom on. Remember to plug in the harness first and take account where all of your little push pins go just so you can make sure you get your middle ones. All right, next, put your screws in your handle. That's about it. So thanks again for watching Bry's Garage. I hope this video helped you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Have a nice day.